Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores of Sky. Maybe recording this after uh, doing four hours of Disgaea was a mistake, I don't know. <clears throat> but last time we uh, we saw Buck the Beedoof through on his uh, journey through Star Cave. He made a wish. Daniel and Abram came to the guild, and all is well. But let's say it is time we uh, get back to uh, our hero's adventure. That's what I would say if uh, we weren't uh, checking out our wonder mail. So yeah, uh, this is a system that allows you to uh, pass around uh, missions. Uh, there are generators out there. I will probably be linking the... Uh, generator in the video description and you can create missions for your friends to go on so let's start with the two given to me by Izukaze Phoenix okay I've input the code let's see if it's valid receive a wonder mail s Just add it to the job list. Alright. We've got one more. Also by Izukaze Phoenix. Alright. Here is our completed code. This password is incorrect. What? Uh, what did I mess up? Oh. This isn't a Q. It's an at. Okay, now we are all set to continue our adventure. So, last time, Daniel and Abram uh, helped a little uh, Zerl named Timmy uh, escape. Uh... You know what, check, the... check what I said for episode four. <laughs> and three, smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work. Hooray! Ah, you two. Let me give you your assignment for today. Look up jobs on the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board. Do the list of jobs. That'll do for today. Understood? No shirking your work, okay? Well, if you understand, get on with it. So, yeah. Let's go explore. We can't do these yet. Way to go, Joey! You gave me things I can't use yet. Look at- and look at this! Look at this! They're S-rank missions! Who thought this was a good idea? <laughs> well, I guess we're going back to our original plan. Hey there, uh, Gilliam. Count yourself the one criminal? So you really can get things done. <laughs> Of course, what you did is only what's expected of any exploration team. <laughs> Alright, Dale! Time to buck up and focus! Let's do our best, Shoop. I'm getting dinner ready now. I'll ring for everyone when dinner's ready. Until then, keep it your work, please. Yep, will do. I am seriously in need of some water. So, uh, now we're free to wander around a bit. Uh, something I should mention is... Hinawa keeps a diary here. Hinawa's Oh My Gosh Diary. Entry 1. What a scream! Oh my gosh! So glad to meet you! I'm Hinawa the Sunflora, an apprentice at the guild. Eek, but does this mean someone else is reading my diary besides me? Double eek! Is someone sneaking a peek? Oh my gosh, how horrifying! Eek! <laughs> silly Loudred. Oh my gosh, that silly Loudred. Ooh, he can be so absent-minded. Everyone knows that if you get totally wiped out in the dungeon, you lose some items and half your money. Of course, that silly Loudred forgets all about that and goes storming off into the dungeon. And that wound up making us both wipe out. So I got sent back to the guild too. Eek, so frustrating. 
Oh my gosh, I never ever want to go to a dungeon with Shoop again. P.S. Two new kids joined the guild. I think they're called Abram and Daniel. Oh my gosh, they're both so adorable. Yippee! So, uh, yeah. She's uh, probably gonna keep on updating it as time passes. But for now, it does not matter to us. Yep, we already read it. So you all ran off the other day because you had to rescue little Timmy. My golly, I'm impressed that you caught yourselves an outlaw in the process. Yep, yep, I need to pick up the pace. Can't have you rookies showing me up. Puppies! The three of us are the Poochie and the Brothers. We're Team Poochie. We stick to tracking outlaws. We chase and chase and chase our targets. And then when we catch them, when they're too tired to move. Easiest in E rank. Criminals get tougher in D rank. They get then even tougher in C and so on. We target only outlaws with a C rank. They have bigger bounties on them than the ones with E and D ranks. But there's a catch. Outlaws with a C rank are much tougher. We have to fight those crooks carefully, otherwise we could take a beating. So yeah. Uh, the outlaw notice board is empty. Go figure. So yeah, eh, no, we don't need an explanation. Sounds real tasty. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, uh... Alright, let's see here. We don't have any max elixirs on us. Uh, let's see if we there's one in storage. It's like uh, half the shopkeepers are still off work or something. A sincere thanks, but no discount. That's how they roll, I guess, in the Kecleon shop. This is, uh... This is troubling. Alright, let's store some stuff. Let's see, we can store this, this... And... Yeah, I'll stash all of these. The Blast Seed, too, I suppose. Alright, so we do not have a Max Elixir. That's fine. Whoops, yeah, I know. I was trying to hold a run button, but that's not the run button. <laughs> Oop, hold up. There's a new face in town. It's a Spinda! Hopes and dreams. This is... Something. It's a Krabby! Ahoy! Are you headed to the beach? Well, would you keep an eye out for something if you could? Recently, there have been bottles washing up on the beach. It looks as though there's something inside those bottles. If that sounds interesting, you might want to look for bottles on the beach. This is, as far as I'm aware, only in Explorers of Sky. But yeah. There's a bottle. Deliver a big apple to Drenched Bluff. Yeah, we can add that to our job list. I guess we're doing taking on missions in Drenched Bluff today. Totter Orb, we don't have. Pecta Berry, we don't have. Okay. I guess we're just doing the one mission today, then.
So yeah, you go into your job list, uh, pick a mission, select take job. You can take multiple missions as long as they are all in the same area. You only get to do uh, one dungeon per day. That's how this game works. Alright, we need to take out a berry. Oh, we do in fact have a max elixir. We've got a bunch of them. Alright. So never mind what I was saying. We could have take, gone to... Uh... Yeah, we could indeed have gone to the uh, beach cave with all those missions if we wanted. But... Since this mission is a D rank, it'll uh, give us more points than a bunch of E rank missions. Probably. Uh, future me, can you go ahead and, uh, you know, edit in the rewards for the various uh, mission ranks? Yeah. Any uh, dungeons you have a, a have an open mission for will be uh, marked with the envelope icon. So, we are going to Drenched Bluff. We have to deliver a big apple. Oh, shoot. I think I made a mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake. Alright, well, uh, it seems like there are plenty of gummies here uh, for the taking, at least. So, uh, even though we kind of screwed up... You know what? Let's look around for a big apple. This will be an adventure! Hey, if we uh, gain some levels in the process, that's nice. Just want to make sure we watch Daniel's belly. Ooh, hello. Donk. Is this the big apple? This is a regular apple. Elixir, that's good. So far, the enemies uh, don't really present much of a problem. <laughs> this is not Mount Bristle, after all. Uh, Drenched Bluff is pretty safe at any level. I keep wanting to, uh, to hold L and press one of the other face buttons to use my moves. This is not Super Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> you actually gotta actually go through a menu. and look for a big apple in this room. No big apple, but there are a, a lot of the... Ooh, stun seed. Cool. I can approve of that. 
see, is this just a... That looks like it's just a passage. Yeah, alright. I think we have failed this mission, guys. <laughs> the destination floor and we do not have the item so uh, we are just going to quietly slip past our client <laughs> Let's just frame this as uh, Daniel not want, not really being all that into any mission that uh, doesn't involve beating up outlaws. That seems pretty in character for him at this point, right? Mm. Yeah, there's our uh, there's our client. Also, Abram got separated from us, which means he's going to go wandering off on his own. There's not much we can do about that. Might as well just go all the way through the dungeon. Drenched Bluff, you know, it's six levels deep. There is never anything in the se on the seventh floor. Cleared the dungeon, very impressive, but we didn't actually... Uh, do any missions. <laughs> Which is kind of my fault if you really think about it. Because I am a derp face. The next morning. Up and at him, it's morning! Yeah, we all need to save. Yep, same job as yesterday. Alright, let's try not to screw up horribly this time. Let's check out the outlaw boards. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're not taking on a B-rank outlaw, not this early in the game. <coughs> uh... Let's look for stuff in the Drenched Bluff. I don't think we have a decoy orb, but I can check storage. Alright. Check for any, uh, bo excuse me, bottle mail. It does not look like there is any. So let's stash our gummies along with any other items we don't really need. I will say you do not really need a whole lot of these held items. They're a uh, pretty good fodder for the vendor junk. Let's see here. Yeah, you can kind of uh, see what I'm getting at here. It's a decent amount of money. I 
let's see, I'll get one gummy and both of the reviver seed. Actually, I can only, yeah. One gummy, one reviver seed, and the geo pebbles. As I've said in the past, gummies are very important for your uh, character's uh, long-term growth. And not just because they raise IQ, either. We are going to see something else to do with them, probably around the time we hit Chapter 6. Or is it Chapter 5? I don't know. Anyway, check our job list. Deliver a big apple to the fifth floor and search for shelter on any floor. That is our missions. Let's get going. First up, get this stupid orange berry out of our face. And Abram is now level 10. Thunder Wave is a pretty decent uh, status attack. It's useful if you can get your Pikachu next to an enemy. Flicks the target with a Paralysis condition. Paralysis ha that paralyzed Pokemon uh, move slower and they can't use their moves. That is what you need to know about them. It's actually quite handy to have, so I'm going to keep it enabled. So my mom brought home something really interesting today. She had a class in, I think, Trenton uh, for her uh, town clerk training. She uh, stopped at the Philly Pretzel Factory on her way home, and oh man, that, those are some big pretzels. I spread a little bit of butter on one, stuck it in a microwave for 15 seconds. It was delicious. I might have one of the others for dessert if they haven't all been eaten by tonight. Smoke screen. Smoke screen, uh, completely, well, I'll say it minimizes your target's accuracy, which means most of their moves will miss for a few turns. It's called the Whiffer status. The condition does go away on its own, but it's really good for buying some time, which is, uh, Yet another reason to really like Charmander, I guess. Max Elixir is good. Apple is also good. Mud Spore is useless. I guess I don't really have any reason to stay on this floor. Just uh, kind of spacing out to the music. Here's the lost shelter. So yeah. See you at the guild with your reward when you return. We are not leaving the dungeon now. Because we have not, uh, been not delivered the big apple yet. So yeah, the game is kind enough to notify you when you've reached the destination floor.
So yeah, let's deliver to Big Apple and be done with our mission. Well done, Team Olympia! So yeah, 15 Explore Rank Points. Izzy is just kind of uh, bouncing that big juicy apple around on her head. Does she even eat them? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Maybe she's like a cat and she likes to play with her food before she eats it. We don't need to save. Yeah, yeah. You're just micromanaging everything, Mr. LePaul. It's kind of a thing. Alright, let's see. A C rank outlaw. We probably don't have high enough stats to deal with a C rank outlaw yet. Radar orb. Do we have a radar orb? If not, we're going to the beach cave, I suppose. Let's see, what can we stash? That is what we will stash. What can we buy? Reviver seeds are pretty dang important to have to uh, build up a supply of, so uh, anytime we see one in the shop we are going to buy it. Of course, uh, Sasha here can only hold so many items for us. If we manage to rank up our team, we will get some more space. But for now, 64 is all there is. I forgot to check to see if we had a radar orb. <laughs> I am just so scatterbrained this episode, it's like I don't even know. Maybe it's because I've been streaming all day. Alright, radar orb. Let's see. Indeed we do have one. Alright, so we can deliver a radar orb to uh, somewhere. Drench Bluff, I think? Sounds about right. Okay, so two E rank missions uh, are better than one D rank mission. Understood. Alright, in that case we're going to Beach Cave. Let's see, are there any outlaws in Beach Cave? No. Put away the uh, thingy. This find item uh, request is a little odd. 
When you're being asked to find an item instead of deliver it, it means you have to dive into the dungeon and uh, try to bring back an item. If it's in your inventory when you finish the dungeon raid, you pass the mission. But you can just bring one out of storage and that'll be fine too. So we're going to see if we have a cherry berry. Indeed we do. Alright, let's get going. Third floor and any floor. That is Thunder Wave. Pretty handy, although using it in the beach cave is uh, really just a waste of time. None of the Pokemon here are a threat. But, oh man, is the music here good. Just brings back memories. There's a cherry berry. So yeah, as soon as you find the item, you uh, will be asked if you want to leave. Which is nice, I didn't actually know that. Or if I did know that, I kind of forgot about it. It's been a while since I've played this game. seeds. Uh, pretty nice to have. You shouldn't be afraid to use some of your uh, some of your uh, lesser items like blast seeds and such. <clears throat> You'll always be finding more of them. Case in point. <laughs> hey, get back here! Gotta wait for him to come back. <laughs> He's just gonna be wandering around now, isn't he? He, he just went right ahead and got lost, didn't he? Dang you, Shelter. <laughs> this is stupid. Oh, you're not even a Shelter, you're Anorith. Okay. That was dumb. Clear gummy. I like that. Cool. Chapter 4, The Gatekeepers.
Ugh. Good morning, Daniel. Now, I think we will save. It's been half an hour. That's uh, plenty of material for an episode. <laughs> so, join us next time when, uh, when we figure out what exactly the gatekeepers means. Bye-bye for now.